It's now midwinter, um, December 14th in uh, near Rogersville, New Brunswick. It was November 17th when these broken aquifers were first found, right there as you see. Uh, it's now a month later. I personally presented this information to Justice Clen Denning on November 26th. Uh, everywhere around here is frozen, except for these aquifers. Uh, shot holes drilled by SWN in July have broken these open. And there's water still flowing through the woods here. As you can see, uh, there's, there's apparently nothing has been done, even though Energy Minister Craig Leonard went on the record a few weeks ago saying that the reason that SWN could not plug these shot holes was because uh, they feared for their safety because protesters chased them out of doing their job properly. So there you go. You can see the water rippling out of that hole. That's a shot hole. You can see down there, it's absolutely frozen everywhere else. There's, I uh, had to cross a frozen uh, river you know, far deeper than what we're seeing here, but what we're seeing is a quite a current that's flowing out from under the ground here. There's another one further up there that's also broken. And no action has been taken. Uh, Justice Clen Denning knew about this. This was public information. APTN has reported on this. I reported on this. Uh, Minister Leonard came out saying that the reason that nothing was done was because of the protesters and still nothing has been done apparently by the Ministry of Environment, Department of Energy and Mines, uh, or Natural Resources, which leads one to suspect that perhaps there is no monitoring policy uh, at any level for seismic testing in New Brunswick. Again, there's, there's a really funky smell going on here and that's probably due to a lot of chemical reactions, uh, iron oxidizing here as you see. Um, I don't really know what else to say other than this is, um, just almost par for the course at this point. Merry Christmas, happy holidays.